Everybody and welcome to Cross Mountain, Krizhevat in Medjugorje for our way of the cross on this Valdeslavko's 76th birthday. Valdeslavko died on this mountain in the year 2000 and we have with us today Rita Falsetto who was at that time Valdeslavko's secretary and Valdeslavko died in Rita's arms having finished the way of the cross he collapsed and she ran to him. At his funeral, Father Ivan Lantica said, Father Slavko, you died in your office. And it was on these mountains that he connected with God in a very special and powerful way, a very simple message that he was able to unravel for us. We complicate the messages of Our Lady very often. Father Slavko reminded us of the simple heart of Our Lady and that message of fasting. One priest said recently, we often look at fasting we, like we look at the Ten Commandments insofar as he said, we see them as God sort of punishing us. But fasting is not a punishment, Father Slavko said. Fasting liberates us, as he said in that message. And he said once to a group of pilgrims that fasting empowers our prayers but prayer gives meaning to our fast and the two are inseparable. And on this day of his birthday, we give thanks to God for him and for all our priests and religious who bring us closer to God, who guide us, who lead us, who gently sometimes even have to correct us. The message of Our Lady we chose for today was from the 25th of March, 2013, when Our Lady said, dear children, in this time of grace, I call you to take the cross of my beloved son, Jesus, in your hands and to meditate on his passion and death. May your suffering be united in his suffering and love will win because he who is love gave himself out of love to save each of you. Pray, pray, pray until love and peace begin to reign in your hearts. Thank you for having responded to my call. We've come here for this hour of prayer, wherever you are today, across the world, we are united on the side of Cross Mountain and Our Lady has sent a shepherd to us, Father Don Kenny, to lead us in prayer, to guide us through Mary's way of the cross. Father Don, thank you for joining us and for leading us today. You're welcome, Philip. As you say, today we celebrate the 76th birthday of Father Slavko, and we, we come together really as a, a gift to him to offer these Stations of the Cross as we wish him a happy heavenly birthday, a happy birthday in heaven. I suppose the way of the cross is the way of all of our lives. 
Each of us has suffering. We fall, we're hurt, rejected, condemned. We die, we're buried. And we're resurrected in heaven. It has been a Catholic tradition through the centuries to meditate on the way of the cross so that it becomes our way of life. Mary, the mother of Jesus, made that first way of the cross. And the stations I'm going to do today are called Mary's way of the cross. And they attempt to present that viewpoint. In these stations, we see through the eyes of Mary, what Jesus was going through on the way of Calvary. And then we try to make practical applications to our lives. And so we begin with the first station. In the first station, Jesus is condemned to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son. That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears ran down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. And all around me, they shouted, crucify him, crucify him. And I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew this had to be, so I stood by and I cried silently. Lord Jesus, it's hard for me to imagine the anguish that your mother felt at your condemnation. But what about today, when I hold a grudge, crucify him, when I judge other people, crucify him? Doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother? Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
And we arrive at the second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Redeemed the world. Regaining a little strength, I walked with the crowds to the entrance of the square. A door flew open and my son stumbled out, the guards laughing behind him. Two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his shoulders. Then they shoved him down the road. My pain for him was unbearable. I wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself. But I knew this had to be. So I walked on silently. Lord Jesus, I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and the loneliness of my neighbor. Forgive me for gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people. Help me to be like Mary, always seeking to lighten the crosses of others. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líganos del mal. Amén. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. In the third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I followed close behind my son as he stumbled towards Calvary. Nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall face to the ground, the heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment, I thought that my beloved son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and he began to walk again, yet they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be. So I walked on and wept silently. Lord, how often have I seen you fall and unlike Mary have left you there without concern. How often have I seen people make mistakes and laughed at them? How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I want them to do? Mary offered you her support 
through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support that I give to others. Lord, have mercy on me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his grieving mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met. Mine full of tears of anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I followed and I prayed silently. Lord Jesus, forgive me the many times that our eyes met and I turned mine away. Forgive me the times things did not go my way and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me the times I brooded over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Yes, Lord, our eyes have met many times, but often fruitlessly. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, your holy cross you the world. The world. I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Each step looked as if it would be his last. I felt his every pain in my heart and I wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. The guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. He asked the guards why this had to be. I knew and so followed silently. Lord Jesus, I have many times refused to help you. I've been a selfish person who has often questioned your word. Don't let me remain like Simon, but help me to be like your mother Mary, who always silently followed and always obeyed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As I continued close by Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, took off her veil, and began to wipe my son's sweaty, bloody face. The guards immediately pulled her back. Her face seemed to say, why are you doing this to him? I knew, so I walked on in faith silently. Lord, this woman gave you the best she could. On the other hand, I have wanted to take more than I give. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others, but I pass them by. My Savior, never let me ask why again, but help me to give all that I have to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, y perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líbranos del mal. Amén. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. In the seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Again, my son fell. And again, my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die. I started to move toward him but the soldiers prevented me. He rose and he stumbled ahead slowly. Seeing my son fall, get up again and continue on was bitter anguish to me. But since I knew this had to be, I walked on silently. Lord, of all people, Mary was your most faithful follower, never stopping in spite of all the pain that she felt for you. I have many times turned away from you by my sins, and I've caused others to turn away from you too. I beg you to have mercy on me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall, world without end. Amen. In the eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I was walking a few steps behind Jesus when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring about conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did, and as he walked on, I followed silently. My Savior, many times have I acted like these women, always seeing the faults of others and pitying them. Yet very rarely have I seen my own sinfulness 
and ask your pardon. Lord, you have taught me through these women of Jerusalem. Forgive me, Lord, for my blindness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. This fall of Jesus was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion. The soldiers screamed at him and abused him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My heart pounded as I imagined what they would do to him next. But I knew that this had to be, so I climbed the hill silently behind him. My loving Jesus, I know that many times I have offered my hand to help people, but when it became inconvenient or painful to me, I left them, making excuses for myself and my behavior. Help me, Lord, help me to be like your mother Mary and ever take my supporting hand away from those who need it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest. But the guards immediately started to rip off his clothes to rip them off his blood clotted skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. Yet since I knew this had to be, I stood by and cried silently. Lord, in my own way too, I have stripped you. I have taken the way I've taken away the good name of another by foolish talk. And I have stripped people of human dignity by my prejudices. Jesus, there are so many ways that I have offended you through the hurt I have caused others. Help me to see you in all people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líbranos del mal. Amén. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, I believe. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As they threw Jesus on the cross, he willingly allowed himself to be nailed. As they punctured his hands and his feet, I felt the pain in my heart. Then they lifted up the cross, and there he was, my son, whom I love so much, being scorned as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew this had to be, so I stood by and prayed silently. Lord, what pain you endured for me 
and what pain your mother went through seeing her only son die for love of me. Yet both you and she are ready to forgive me as soon as I repent of my sin. Help me, Lord, to turn away from sinfulness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As we contemplate now the 12th station, let us remember and pray for the victims of the war in the Ukraine. Let us ask God and, and Father Slavko to intercede for us so that there will be peace in the world. And the 12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her only son die right before her eyes? I, who had brought this savior into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it. So I stood by and I mourned silently. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and to others. I thank you for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. Let me always be your friend and teach me to live my life for others and not to fail you again. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The crowd had gone, the noise had stopped. I stood quietly with one of Jesus' friends and looked up at the dead body of our Savior, my son. Then two men took the body from the cross and placed it in my arms. A deep sorrow engulfed me, yet I also felt deep joy. Life had ended cruelly for my son, but it had also brought life to all of us. And I knew this had to be, and I prayed silently. Lord, your passion has ended, yet it still goes on whenever I choose sin over you. I have done my part in your crucifixion, and now, my Saviour, I beg your forgiveness with all of my heart. Help me to live a life worthy of you and worthy of your mother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
We brought Jesus's body to a tomb and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son and then walked out. They closed the tomb and before I left, I thought I knew this had to be. It had to be for you. And I would wait in faith silently. Yes, my Lord, this had to be because you love me and for no other reason. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy, but I am willing to leave sin behind and live for you alone in my brothers and sisters. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líbranos del mal. Amén. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. And as we look at the cross, I'm sure Mary would have said after Jesus was placed in the tomb and after he rose from the dead that she could only be most grateful for the sacrifice of her son for us. And what emptiness it left her trying to live without him, whom she loved so much. But only two days later, two days after his burial, the emptiness was filled beyond belief because he had risen. Jesus had opened the doors to a new life. And this is the way it had to be because of his undying love for all of us. And that would not stop at anything less. We can all rejoice today because of that. And we never rejoice in silence. And so we pray, my savior, thank you. Thank you for such endless love that helps me to rise out of my own sinfulness. I will try again to live a better life. Help me to always remember that love. Mary, mother of our risen savior, teach me to be like you and in my love for others, love him in return. Just like to thank you all for being with us today. It was a pleasure to be with you and the Lord be with you all. And may almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Message of November 25th, 2000, the day after Father Slavko died. Our Lady said, Dear children, today when heaven is near to you in a special way, I call you to prayer so that through prayer you may place God in the first place. Little children, today I am near you and I bless each of you with my motherly blessing so that you have the strength and love for all the people you meet in your earthly life and that you give God's love. I rejoice with you and as I desire to tell you that your brother Slavko has been born into heaven and intercedes for you. Thank you for having responded to my call. Amen. Amen. Father Don, thank you. You're welcome. It's, yeah, it's been a beautiful hour. It flew by and to thank you for giving this hour such meaning and to Mario and Milkitsa who have at breakneck pace got up and down Krizovac and Mario is here at the statue at the image of the resurrected Jesus which stands over the tomb of Father Slavko. And we ask Father Slavko, as Father Don said, to intercede for us, as Our Lady said in her message that he is. And to Melkitsa at the top of Grijewatz. And to Rita, who joined us today from Colorado, who was with Father Slavko when he died and played a huge role in his mission in Medjugorje. Thank you, Rita, for joining us again today and for uniting with us to, in prayer. And to thank Brother James in Galway, Rosie in Surrey, Lourdes in Miami, and each one of you, wherever you are today, We will be back on Sunday. We look forward to praying with you once again. I do owe you all an apology. I put up the wrong date yesterday. I was having a senior moment, but I hope I get over that. But thank you again. And in a special word, please um, thank you, Father Don, for uniting with us. I hope it won't be a year before we greet you again in Medjugorje, but... It won't be, but it'll be, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. Well, Welcome to the diocese as well. So. You're wonderful. Uh, well, thank you for, for giving today such a special moment for us in prayer and for leading us in the way that you did. You're wonderful. One thing that struck me there, Philip. Yeah. Just used to seeing your moments. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Um, and uh, thank you, Rita, for posting uh, the document there. It's in the chat box if anybody wants to save it. It's the file of the meditations that Father Don has just so beautifully led us in, Mary's Way of the Cross. And about this cross gathered, uh, we gather around now at the top of Cross Mountain. Our Lady said in the early days of the apparitions that this cross was always part of God's plan for Medjugorje. And Father Slavko once said, if this cross made of concrete was always part of God's plan, 
then so too was it always part of God's plan that you and I would gather at the foot of this cross to pray. So thank you once again, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend and we will be back together, please God, on Sunday. With Roland live. <laughs> God bless everybody. See you on Sunday.